Hey guys, uh, what's up? So since the last episode I recorded back in like April this year, most of you uh, asked me where did my items go? Well simply I cashed out about $400 worth of skins and I also managed to get a brand new iPhone 7 Plus uh, for about uh, next $400 worth of skins and to end it off uh, I cashed out uh, about 200 bucks I think and, um, and I also went on an 8 day vacation with my friends to Croatia and um, if you think about it, it's actually pretty funny considering quite a few people have told me in past that I spent way too much time on computer doing absolutely nothing. Well shit, uh, I mean jokes aside, uh, trading simply can't be the main source of income and I guess you can use it as sort of uh, passive income for you. Simply if you need anything in real life, just cash out a tiny bit and just keep on trading with the rest, you know? I've personally done it like this all the time and obviously I'm just 18 years old now and I still go to school so I can't really have um, any main source of income, you know? So anyway guys, uh, enough talking, let me show you which skins I have right now. So I have Bowie Sapphire and I also have the Bowie Ruby. Both of them are uh, factory new and in pretty good condition in terms of loads and I also have Stat Tetracaram with Brightwater, which is fill tested, and I also have uh, Gut Knife Safari Mesh. I think that one is fill tested also. A bit over $1000, which is oddly low, but let me explain you why. So I bought these two for uh, about 815 keys and mix which is about 400 and something for each one. And at the time of the purchase, they were like uh, 460 and 450. So I was obviously making a really good deal. But uh, yeah, I had a short break of gaming in general. But yeah, the profit didn't last long since I had a pretty uh, long break of gaming. And I also was on a holiday, uh, as I already mentioned, and I was going out with friends and stuff. So, and long story short, uh, skins dropped by insane amounts and that's mainly due to the 7 day hold after each trade update Steam announced a while ago and right now my bovies are like 350-ish keys if not less so yeah, <laughs> rips. Anyway, I will see what I can do, I'll probably try to trade up somehow and continue with my trading series because clearly uh, there is a huge interest of those at least from the comments I read. Also there is one more important thing I wanted to mention so my favorite trade server uh, got down which was called Elias and it was shut down pretty recently. So obviously I've done some research and I found out that they have uh, decided to officially shut down their trade server, at least for now. And simply because the 7 day trade hold update made it really impossible for people to trade. I mean, not impossible, but the traffic on the server was slow and yeah, they couldn't simply um, handle the fees with the server and all that. So I guess that's the reason. So thanks Valve for that. And uh, by the way, as far as I know, uh, this isn't the only trade server that uh, got shut down after this update. So there are quite a few of them, but yeah, besides trade servers closing and skins losing their value, uh, there isn't pretty much anything new in the, let's say, trading world. People are still trading even after this update. I can feel the impact myself on the update uh, because you might have seen what I've done uh, in past with my CSGO trades lately. In short, I tried to stack a lot of low tier knives, about 40 keys each, and I had like, uh, let's say, 20 of those maybe even more so and I tried to upgrade them one by one making at least 3 to 10 key profit in each trade believe me or not but there were days where I made like 70 keys profit a day but the uh, quote unquote this top secret tactic to trade up isn't really possible anymore I mean it is but you have to wait 7 days additionally to make a, to make another trade with them. I mean, it's still possible, but it's making the whole process longer and a lot harder than it used to be. So I'll figure this out somehow and I'll see what I can do, I guess. So you guys, anyway, um, this is basically all I wanted to say. I have uh, no plans on quitting YouTube whatsoever right now. So if any of you had any video ideas uh, I should do in future, I mean, what would you guys uh, would like to see next? I have honestly no idea. So if you want to see me do anything specific, just leave a comment below this video. I'm always reading the comments, so don't worry about that. And by the way, um, I quite enjoy playing Fortnite right now. I think, wait, would you like to see some videos from there? maybe I mean I could make some of those as well if, if there's any interest in those at all 
Anyway, um, this is basically all I wanted to say. I know this video might not be as interesting for most of you guys out there, but I wanted to explain what happened with me, with trading, why I don't upload, uh, why I don't trade as much right now, and where is this channel heading towards to. And yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you all until the next one.